You are going to create a draft of your geometry pool project using Google and Canvas. Here's how it works. Navigate to your Canvas geometry course by going to www.k12k.com, selecting the student tab, and Canvas. Log in with your usual username and password and select Geometry. Once you're in Canvas, go to Assignments and select Geometry Pool Project Grid. At the top of the page, you will see an instruction sheet, and at the bottom of the page is where you will complete the project. Since the project is embedded into Canvas, you will never have to leave Canvas to work on and submit your project. You may find it helpful to zoom in on the page by holding Control and the plus sign, as well as dragging down this bar to get rid of the space for speaker notes. There may also be times it is helpful to zoom in further, and you can select View from the toolbar and change the percentage view. Here is an example of a completed draft that does not meet the 100 cubic inches requirement, but it will help demonstrate how you can create your draft. As the instruction sheet says, begin by creating your shape. If I am recreating this shape, I will start with my rectangle. Select Shape, Shape, and Rectangle. Click and drag where you would like to make your rectangle. Once it is made, you can drag or use the arrow keys to adjust the location. Next, you can adjust the fill color, line color, and line weight by selecting the shape and choosing the fill color bucket, line color pencil, or line weight and dash option. If these options aren't visible to you, select more from the toolbar and they will appear. To add another shape, I will again choose shape, shape, and triangle, and resize it to adjust the colors as needed. Once you have your 2D shape built, you can give it a 3D effect by adding lines. To add a line, select Line, and choose the different type of lines you would like to add. Sometimes these lines can be a little tricky because they try to automatically snap to a point you don't necessarily want them snapping to. But you can adjust the line after it's made and use arrows to help nudge it if needed. You can adjust the thickness or color of the line with the line color and line weight options. Again, if these options aren't visible to you, select More from the toolbar and they will appear. Once you have a line, you might find it useful to duplicate that line over and over so you don't have to keep recreating it. To do this, click on the line and hold Control D. If this doesn't work, you can always copy and paste. Lastly, you need to label your measurements. Do this by adding a text box. Select More if you don't see the option to adjust the text size. Again, it might be helpful to duplicate or copy and paste a text box once you have a good size. Make sure that your measurements are to scale according to your grid paper. On the next page, you will write your formulas for finding volume. I will find my total volume by adding the volume of my rectangle plus the volume of my triangle. I will show this by typing rectangular prism volume equals length times width times height, which in this case for my rectangle was 7.5 inches times 2.5 inches times 1 inch and it equals 18.75 cubic inches. For my triangular prism, I'll write triangular prism volume equals one half length 
times width times height. So based on my dimensions, that is one half times 4.5 times 2 times 1, and it equals 4.5 inches cubed. I will then show that I added 18.75 and 4.5 to get 23.25 cubic inches as my total volume. When you have completed your draft and are ready to turn it in, select Submit just above the box you have been working in. That's it.